Hi, I'm Bodo, and this is my combat medic guide. I'll be going over all three factions, letting you know which weapons I highly recommend in terms of time to kill and what's more meta. I'll also be going over uh, loadouts, uh, more group for oriented because it's the combat medic, but I'll also sprinkle in some solo uh, loadouts that I recommend for the combat medic. I'll be generally going over um, the play style and how to play as a combat medic as I speak about the loadout. So for the weapons, I recommend for the TR is the TAR and the Torque 9. The TAR for me has to take the first place because it's amazing hip fire accuracy and the advanced laser tied on top of that, it really helps between swapping from your tool to your primary weapon. Uh, instead of you having to aim down sights at very close quarter fights, you can just hip fire and be extremely accurate and hit like headshots very reliably. Torque 9, once again, very easy to use weapon. And I highly recommend that if you want to use like a good all around weapon, I recommend the Torque 9 as well. For the NC, I recommend two weapons. One's close quarter, the other one's medium to long range. For close quarter, I highly recommend the Carnage AR. It's a very good weapon if you have to swap from your medic tool to your primary. You can immediately shoot from hip fire and be very accurate. With the advanced laser type on, on top of that, you'll be hitting headshots very easily if people are trying to push you when you're trying to res or heal someone. Uh, for medium to long ranges, I highly recommend the Reaper. The Reaper is a very good assault rifle. It's a three-shot headshot. It's very easy to handle in terms of accuracy. So depending on your situation, I kind of recommend Carnage AR, but there's two fantastic weapons for the NC. For the VS, there's two weapons I recommend. I recommend the HV-45 and I recommend the Terminus. Uh, they both are very good at close quarters and they both have some really good time to kills. The HV-45 has a better fire rate overall. And in terms of hip fire, it's very accurate. So if you're swapping from your medic gun to your primary, uh, you can instantly start hip firing and aiming for headshots from hip fire. Uh, you really don't need to aim down sight. It's a very easy and manageable recoil. Uh, you can seriously just hip fire at close range uh, with this weapon. And same thing with the Terminus. I find the Terminus is a little bit better for medium ranges, uh, but the HP-45 is stellar at close combat. Okay, moving on to the loadout of the combat medic. Let's start with the secondary. Secondary, I recommend under boss, very reliable. Uh, it's a very good uh, hip fire accuracy, especially with the advanced laser sight on it. And on top of that, it's very spammable. And that's what kind of you want. You want an oh crap weapon, like, oh man, I ran out of ammo, or ah, oh, I, I, I don't have enough ammo to finish them off. Quickly go to your secondary. It's a very good, reliable weapon. Keep in mind, this is up to you. I know there's a lot of people that like different types of secondaries for different types of situations. This is up to you. I like my secondaries to be an oh crap weapon. Medical applicator, max this out first. This is what gives you a res and heals. The more you max it out, the higher health people will be resed at and the quicker you'll be able to heal people. Highly recommend this. Do this first, like this maxed out first. Spend your starts on this first. Okay, the meat and potatoes of the combat medic. Nano region device. You kind of have two options. There's a shield recharge field, uh, which a lot of people like to use. Um, but in terms of being a very good combat medic for a team to be like the anchor of the team, nano, nano region device is just better. Uh, every second you're going to heal people for 45 health within a radius of 7 meters. This is, uh, as you'll see with the loadout, uh, we're going to try and keep this up as much as possible. Now, to help keep this up, we have this uh, implant, which may be hard for some people to get, uh, Combat Surgeon. This is a class implant specifically for the Combat Medic. And essentially, on kills and reses, you're going to get 30% of your energy back for your Nano Region device. It's specific to your Nano Region device. And reviving any ally increases your small arms resistance. So as you can see, we're using Bandolier. The reason we're using grenade bandolier is because we have resonades, throw the resonades, get people back up on their feet. Uh, so instead of having some uh, nano weave on, uh, essentially on a res, we're going to get a little bit of nano weave. That's essentially what is happening here. Um, and on top of that, we're going to get 30% of our energy so we can keep the nano region device constantly heal our allies, keep that ticking and ticking. Uh, this also, we get the 30% from kills. Now, if we kill someone, uh, it's very nice that we can support a heavy. And let's say a heavy gets traded, we pop around the corner, finish the guy off, res him up. That's 60% of uh, your energy uh, returned back to you. You can constantly use your uh, healing ability and uh, always be healing uh, within an area. 
assimilate very good implant i recommend it uh even though we're not trying to constantly be super aggressive and getting kills we want to allow our heavies to do that first and then if we have to we can support them and finish the guy off that uh killed them or we could pop out quickly and deter people from um uh, pushing that stairwell so we can res our allies and our heavies. On a headshot kill, you're going to restore 200% of your personal shield and you'll restore 10% of your ability energy. So once again, it's feeding into the nano region device, accentuating the play style of constantly healing, keeping people up. Now, uh, in terms of what we said about uh, supporting heavies and finishing off uh, enemies that have killed them, there's kind of two ways of doing this. You can pop around a corner, and obviously, if you have a really good hip fire weapon, uh, if the guy's pushing you up, you can just hip fire for headshots, uh, kill them. If, depending on the situation, they're not pushing, they just got the, the kill and nothing's happening, uh, you can easily res your teammate. But what I like to do a lot of times, especially if your ally is saying, hey, they're rushing the stairs, um, uh, closed stairs, uh, three people rushing, uh, you can easily pop a C4 around the corner and just blow up whoever's time trying to advance. So as you can see, we'll talk about the utility slot. I'm running C4. I highly recommend C4. Uh, I found just playing as a combat medic, I can keep a whole squad up by myself with using my revive grenades and my medical applicator. Um, and what allowed me to do that, I found originally I was using med kits. Like most people, as a combat medic, you want to try and stay alive, but you really don't need med kits, especially if you're playing it properly. You're constantly healing with a nano region device. And I've talked to other people um, that play combat medic a lot, and especially if you're working in a team environment. C4 is just very good to stop a rush, to stop Maxis, to stop a push. If you hear your allies, uh, um, you know, close stare, uh, um, Let's just put out a name, Crow is down, closed stairs, three or four people rushing closed stairs, uh, whatever. You can easily whip a C4 around, kill whoever's trying to uh, push that corridor or that door or those stairs, and you can easily res your teammates, whether it be a Nanite Revive Grenade or a Medical Applicator. Now, with your tax slots, this is sort of up to you. Ordnance Damper, I kind of recommend because, because we're running Grenade Bandolier, we can cover our butts a bit uh, with fray grenade and common explosive damage with the ordnance dampener. Place it down, it'll help protect everybody else, also you, from uh, pesky grenades or common explosions, whatever they be. So this loadout I'm about to show you, this is like the actual combat combat medic. Uh, this loadout is a lot of fun to play with. If you want to be in the fight, a lot more aggressive combat medic with the team, or even if you want to focus this around solo play and just running around, just playing as a combat medic and being like a mini heavy, you can do it with this loadout. Now this requires you to have carapace. Um, you can get this through a bundle pack, or you could just uh, buy it flat out with ISO for 45,000. Or you can throw more and more and more and more certs like I do. I probably spent 100,000 certs uh, on getting the uh, nine pack of implants and just be lucky to get carapace out of it. Uh, now, there's other packs that you can get where you spend ISO that has a higher chance, but to be honest with you, there's no, don't waste your ISO getting uh, those one implant each packs. Uh, just constantly get the nine pack and you'll try and get this uh, implant. And that way you can get enough ISO to also uh, max out and upgrade other implants, kind of like Combat Surgeon. And you'll be opening up more implants so you can get a class mod like Combat Surgeon. Now, how this loadout kind of works um, is that you want to be healing yourself um, and you want to be getting the resistances uh, that you can achieve from Combat Surgeon and obviously Nano Weave. So if you want to play solo, you're not going to get a lot of the resistance from Combat Surgeon, but what Combat Surgeon is going to do is going to allow you to keep your Nano Region device up once you get a kill. This is a kill hungry loadout. You want to get kills and constantly be having energy for an anal region device and constantly self healing yourself. Now, in case for whatever reason um, you get yourself into a bind, what we have here is restoration kit. So you can heal yourself for 70 health per second for 12 seconds by using the resto kit. Uh, you can also be throw a resto kit and use your healing ability. Um, to get a massive amount of healing per second, but I believe uh, 
um, they have made a fix to this, so you don't get the full 70%, like the two 75 and 70% stacking on top of each other. Um, I believe there is diminishing returns um, if you do use retro kits with your nano region device. Uh, once again, we're using Nano Weave Armor. This is to add more resistance. If you get a res with uh, Combat Surgeon, uh, this small arms damage does stack with Nano Weave Armor. If that's wrong, because it's been a while since I've tested it, please tell me in a comment or something, and I can edit this. Um, now, with Ordnance Dampener, once again, I recommend this to get more resistance from explosions, since we are running nano weave armor, uh, you can get some resistance to small explosions and um, frag grenades, which just helps all around. Uh, if you want to play in a team setting, I recommend to use nanite revive grenade. If you're going to play more solo, nanite healing grenade, throw it at your feet, heal yourself back up, or frag grenades. That that is up to you. I prefer using revive grenades uh, because you can trigger the uh, effects from Combat Surgeon and get all that energy back. Uh, now, for this loadout, you want to be more aggressive. You're basically saying, like, I want to play Combat Surgeon. Uh, I want to play solo by myself, so I want to have some sort of buffer and constant healing so I can be as tanky as possible. Or, if you actually want to use this in, as in a group, um, you can effectively use this as playing as a heavy assault, uh, basically, and still be a supporting team player and resing people with your uh, med tool and using your resonate. Um, I've done it before. Uh, I know people in my outfit have done it before where they've played a combat medic, used carapace, ran a loadout just like this, and got more kills, better KD than some of our heavies. Like, it's very possible to be a main infantry gunner as a combat medic with a loadout like this. And this is a bit fun too, you know, it's kind of a niche, kind of a cheek, ton in cheek sort of thing because uh, you can wreck a lot of heavies uh, with this sort of loadout. I hope you guys like the combat medic video that I made for you. Uh, if you'd like to see something different in the future, uh, let me know in the comments. I'm gonna do all the classes eventually. I'm gonna be doing positioning, aiming, map awareness, uh, reading the map. I'll be making more videos about Plant Side 2 in the future. If you guys want to help me out, give me a like, maybe put something in the comment, just say, hey, you liked it, or maybe something you want to see different. I'm always I'm always open to people's opinions. Uh, if you're a combat, combat medic yourself, and you're one of the guys that can keep an entire platoon up, I dedicate this video to you because I've played with a lot of good combat medics and it's way more skill based and a high skill ceiling uh, versus heavy assault. Heavy assault is a backbone. It is one of the main primary uh, components of a very effective squad, but they wouldn't even be allowed to do half the things they could do unless you had a good combat medic supporting them and backing them up. And a combat medic isn't just someone that holds into a corner and cries whenever everything starts going wrong. A combat medic can turn a tide. He can keep everybody alive. Uh, he can get a lot of kills. He can stop a lot of rushes uh, that's happening. So good on you if you're one of the combat medics out there that are doing a lot for the TR. Uh, so have a good day and I hope that I see you on plan side.